By 1851, the word had rung out. There's gold in Demde Hills in the land of the south. There's many an old knight of the pick and spade, lest we forget the Eureka Stockade. A pivotal historical event, the Australian gold rush brought the world to Australia. Earlier this year, as part of my One Town at a Time film series, I produced a short piece on Henry and Louisa Lawson and realised just how important their voices were at the time of Australia's Federation. Which led me to want to dig deeper and find out more about what informed their character, the times that they grew up in, the historical events that occurred that made them who they were which in turn led me to the gold rush and a massive rabbit hole of historical events that you can draw many a parallel to modern day times. The Lawson story was so intriguing, I knew I had to dig deeper. I'd barely scratched the surface with Lawson's son of a suffragette, so I had to start a blog series, which you can find right here. So this Gold Rush story series will basically look at the history of Australia's cultural identity right from settlement right through to modern times. I'll be drawing upon uh, a lot of historical newspaper articles and letters to the editor, some, uh, some filled with lots of conjecture and some with a lot of historical facts that you've probably never heard of before. So please like, follow, share, subscribe, all that jazz and uh, venture down the rabbit hole with me as I explore some of the major historical events and uh, formative events that surround the Australian cultural identity, the gold rush and its lasting impact on modern society here in Australia. <music>